wait a minute this isn't a wrecked gear video nope but many of you know by now we spent some time with wrecked gear hanging out in arizona and it was epic bronson and his family and mine hit it off we became fast friends right away i'd hit him up months ago and explained what i was doing and he was like dude i've heard of you i've been following your story so he was more than welcoming for me to come out and show me and my family around so we just had absolute blast but you're probably wondering what was happening between there and oklahoma so i'm going to catch you up real quick we left rugged mountain ranch where we stayed at a cracker barrel and then a harvest host which was a cattle ranch me and my boy climbed up a hill spent some time sitting talking about life as much as he listened watched a killer sunset which i really enjoyed and then we got back on the road and finally made it to New Mexico, which was a very, very long drive across New Mexico. But uh, we really enjoyed our time in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The food there was absolutely incredible. I didn't even know about Hatch Chili and the whole <laughs> culture around that, but let's say I'm here for it. We went to this place called The Shed they were super known for their burrito, which was covered in hatch chili. The salsa was amazing. But then leaving Santa Fe, heading to meet Bronson, I ran out of fuel like a doofus. I, I ran out of fuel on the way there. Got directed to you. Okay, I see a fuel run. Yes. Okay, give me one moment to get ready for quick. <laughs> I didn't math very well. <laughs> I'm taking your man card away. Oh, he's oh, gonna turn oh, the lights on! Oh, <laughs> oh, the service God. truck is here. Oh. So it can service our fuel system. Y'all, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 200 doll hairs. For how much worth of gas? 15 gallons. I don't know the math on that, and you're obviously not good at math. So. Sixty dollars worth was fuel, so it was one hundred forty dollars for them to bring us said fuel. <clears throat> Do you feel good about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Today I learned. Now, now I know my truck. Oh. Uh, I can go exactly four hundred miles. I mean, like, let me see this. Exactly four hundred miles. And that is coasting off the highway. Uh, yeah. We're gonna call that 350. We need fuel at 350 miles. What an expensive lesson to learn. Yes, man, we were making such good time too. Way to screw it up. And finally, we made it to Arizona. And I have wanted to see these big saguaro cactuses, black cacti, cactus, whatever, my whole life. And I was disappointed when I first came to San Hollow to learn that they weren't here. So I was super excited to see them when I finally got to Black Canyon City, Table Mesa area. They're so much bigger than I thought they were. Uh, the kids clicked immediately. Virgil came out. Uh, there were several other people there for that first day and I kind of recorded a little haphazardly. So I'm just gonna share some of the stuff from the first day and the second day is a much more intentional video so i hope you enjoy the rest of it Three, two, one. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. <laughs> we hung out here at this spot for a while, let the kids play, and we just enjoyed the shade and talked about life. And then it was really cool to watch Virgil with his newly installed rear steer axle 
do this drop here, which was something that personally I would never think about. I would have just never looked over there and thought that was a line or anything. I mean, my, my brain just don't work like that. It does now after wheeling out here with all these places and people that do stuff like this, but it was really wild. I'll speed it up a little bit, but this was awesome. And it was awesome for Virgil. It was his first time doing this, I think. It was definitely his first time with rear steer. Yeah, buddy! This is what I was dreaming of, baby! to go hit some trail. I don't know the name of it. Colby, you know the name of the trail that we're going to? No, I don't know. I don't know the names of the trails either. I've just been following along and, and having a blast. It's some incredible wheeling. What you think, man? Ready Time to, go? to get rowdy. What's the name of this trail we're going to? It's collateral damage, aka CD. Alright. Very good. It's gonna be your biggest dose in Arizona medicine you can find.
way you did it was really cool because you came up like most people come through they go over they dip in and it's like teeter totter boom but yeah. you like straddled it and again your wheelbase being yeah, and you're a school bus for <laughs> our area does good. dude it's kind of killing it you got a high belly long wheelbase and you're really like cresting a lot of stuff that people get hung up on but you just kind of when i crested that i just shoved my sidewall into that yeah like, hard in it and just took it yeah and that was from watching you like i just never thought about using sidewalls so much until i see out the way you, you gotta ride you gotta ride the cracks it's awesome dude he's doing good <laughs> guys it's me colby i am doing stuff being me <laughs> but yeah we came down to uh crazy steep I got it from a second angle hey if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button we're a little over halfway to a thousand and really pushing hard to see if we can get there it really helps if you like this video leave a comment if you're really feeling generous share it with someone else <laughs> that's crazy right He's got a wheelbase of 126, and that's just blowing my mind. I can't even process it. He's got a limo. Yeah. It's a four seat buggy. Though. Comfy family rig for sure. So, what's your plan of attack? Party. Party. Uh, <laughs> I, I am going to get left as far as I can, probably front dig over a little bit. Yeah. But mostly it's going to be look at Bronson and do what he tells me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I got Elena with me. She's always down to ride. Yeah, look at you. Are you stoked? Yeah. He's got yeah. this, right? Yeah. Yep. If <laughs> you keep them doing this, they won't have money for drug addictions and stuff oh. later. <laughs> This climb right here was so incredibly steep. Video does it no justice. If you know this trail, then you know how steep it is. If not, to put it in perspective, I stood there before I started and you saw how tall it is. Plus I have a 126 inch wheelbase. For me to be pointed up that much is quite a bit. There's a huge hole under my right rear tire. The risk for a backflip was extremely high right here, but I just stuck with it and kept trying and was just trying to really crawl and take it as easy as possible because I felt like one blip of the throttle and I could slide or just destroy parts immediately due to the traction. And get ready to go backwards.
How's your oil pressure? At this point, you heard Bronson ask about my oil pressure. It was low, it was single digits, which isn't the end of the world, but the top end was starting to make some noise. Obviously, I've shortened this up a little bit for you to watch, but it took a few minutes to get through this climb. It's also worth mentioning how super awesome my daughter Elena is for riding up this with me and not being scared and having total trust. She just held onto her shoulder straps and was ready for the ride. Most people would have backed out at that point, but I was like, I think it will sit down. So a lot of people on that, you get right there and it's really tippy, and then you'll end up wanting to, to back up and just, you're right on that edge and that momentum of just backing up and that jolt can get you to go boop. And he was right on that line and he glided right on through. That was sick. Good that job, was, man. It was being so difficult. Get it difficult? <laughs> oh, funny. All right, we just got through the trail. It was super fun. He made it absolutely perfect. I mean, this rig is not your typical West Coast build. It's kind of a bus, but uh, he knows how to drive it, man. And it's crawled, so, it's, it did every hard line on collateral damage being his first time out here it's pretty sick there's a lot of people who can't drive that that live here so it is pushing 95 degrees and we're hot so we're gonna mark our way to the river cool off and put our feet in the sand you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go 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 every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system i don't want to be so after a long hot day we made our way back to the river we hopped out let the kids play they had an absolute blast it was the perfect place to chill out cool down uh, there was a lot of other people there that we chatted with there was a little dog running around I had a really good time and then we called it a day we went back to camp packed up and I pointed uh, my way north to Chino Valley where I hung out for a week. And then when I got there, we found some major issues with the truck that could have caused a complete disaster. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, then you know things are more current and you already knows, know what happened there. If you don't, then go follow those pages because every, all of our content is more current. But be sure to tune in on the next video to see what went wrong and how we got it fixed. Well, that was Arizona Wheeling. We're ending off just a perfect weekend. Got the girls playing out here. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you're not already following Wrecked Gear, check them out. They do nothing but this kind of wheeling all the time and they cut out all the boring stuff. It's really great videos. So. Game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst stuff, saying, turn them to a game. Take the best stuff, saying, put them on display. On repeat in your brain.